Speaker Y. Kam Chan urges government to supply adequate personnel protection equipment PPE for community quarantine centers. Confirmed COVID-19 cases in India increased by over 3,970. Total deaths by 100 and around 1,685 people killed in the last 24 hours. And women folks tried to storm to ADPS court demanding the release of former channel ADC chairman Lokul Saijo, who has been jailed in connection with drug trafficking. Hello and welcome to Impact News Watching Evening News. I'm Kausam Shalir with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Speaker of the Manipur Legislative Assembly, Y. Kam Chan, has urged the government to provide adequate personal protection equipment, PPE, for community quarantine centers. He was speaking on the sidelines of presenting discharge certificate to two inmates of Manipur College community quarantine centers today. The speaker said doctors at community quarantine centers can function better if they are provided necessary technical support by the health department. 46 people of Sengzame constituency, including 19 females, one person each from Hainang, Kumbi, Nangthabalt and Sekmai, and four people from Tongzhu are being kept at a community quarantine center. The two people discharged today arrived from Guwahati on May 2. They were first quarantined for one day at Infault Valley Academy in Infault West and after testing negative for COVID-19, they were further ordered to serve 14-day mandatory community quarantines at Manipur College. Government's first initiative is to Mapandagi, Sata Sing, the Gin, Anabi, Musaki, Sing, Sip, Purpala, one of the Awa Tau Murin Muni. At the same time, she doesn't Uva Hitare, Doctor Sing, Sik Tokulak, was he, PP, Umbasina Dabunina. Still, let me be my am singing Monacta, Naksana sang Mom with a hungry power, Umbasum Uvasi. This is very unfortunate. A rim Satra Zenim sang Akta, PP, Umbasi, Piva Natava, Santa Sing, she does music, people in Matau Taisini. A Hanba, some Lami, see, Tiesta Rokanda. Negative or they have a sitting Community quarantine center opened at RK Sanatum Vidalia in Hautel for the coming people of Kundrakpum constituency is housing five people since yesterday. General Secretary of Kundrakpum Kendra Development Committee, Sorokai Bont Yaiskul said that the quarantine center can accommodate more than 270 people. He said that the center has been truly sanitized under the initiative of Kundrakpum Emily Tokzom Trad uh, Lokeshwar. He added that volunteers of the committee have arranged essential items for those who will be housed at the center under guidance of the health experts. Hi, everyone. I'm going to facility in Park. I'm going to go to the facility in Park. I'm going to go to the facility in Park. I'm going to go to the facility in Park. I'm going to go to the facility in Park. I'm going to go to the facility in Park. I'm going to go to the facility in ไอ้ริบบุคคลในทางเซ็นทรัลเซอร์รังเดียกคุยมีมาหรือไงถุงบ้าหัวเราเลยงั้นชิชัวคุยหลักนี่ให้บีกีดีพอร์ตคุยเ
Pandap rom tadi lakukan apa kerjaan si asyik ni kah mudah isi. Nasi nung sini pung five thirty, tadi na six thirty four kip. Mana umur tu mana ni? Aduh kalau lakukan apa passenger sini na nine hundred ke thirty two ni. Asam saya form district tu pun na ba. Ekoi na forty five forty six kumba bus arrange lakukan hamzaren. Aduh na passenger tu hek kumba ga makoi screening counter. Sama kanal lagi ber screening counter sini sih dah. Screen tahu ni, screen tahu kan dah masa masa nak tunggu dah bah. District ni bus elotet, eh bah bus tu dah kau ni. Zaman tahun ni pek teruk, mana mak thamma bni? Ken washing point, facility, all along this platform ni kau ni thamma bni. Tik sana prepare teruk kau ni tajer. BJP Manipur Pradesh COVID Team Relief Committee, led by its convener, come State Secretary of BJP Manipur Pradesh, KH Jivon today distributed vegetables and other food items to the people of six wards, including Klaimarant, Wairaching and Hainobok on the Irengbam Gram Panchayat. Speaking to media, KH Jivon said Manipur has entered COVID-19 orange zone from green zone after the third COVID-19 positive case reported in the state yesterday. Stating that the positive patient is stable according to the health authorities, he urged everyone to pray for the patient's speedy recovery. KH Jivon also appealed to follow expert guidelines to prevent COVID-19 and to maintain social distancing. Green zone the layer mani adubu kangoda na ngarang amuk COVID positive oiba mian ma oirak padegi positive oirak padegi hujuki orange zone na mungcang eh adunak koi na hujuk Manipur government amadi India government gi tongan tongan ba policy putok duna akoi na COVID nineteen nasi thengna na ba akoi puna mo kan nohona minari jerak sida akoi da positive amai oxlap kasi layok tiba ni adunak pu high riba positive oiba mian oiba siju hujuk medical department degi pang ba pau da masamu panan layri high ri adunak mayam pakat ningai oide akoi puna mo cekshin thorang di lokat abe Ya, aduh na, kui social distancing, thamerega, kui yum degi ma pantopi u, maksi nabi u, aduh sanitizer, sapu na cingba, ceng na ceng na hamdok biraga, cingba tamthiraba, pitribi gi, kui degi hena tamthiraba, aduh ma covid nineteen kau ba, virus sasi degi, kui iraja, kudi mana, angam bat hodang, lomi naga, kui hari ba, covid nineteen gi, lajat asli degi ngakthok mana si. Confirmed COVID-19 cases in India have increased by over 3,970, total deaths by 100, and around 1,685 people have recovered in the last 24 hours. Confirmed cases have jumped to over 81,970. As per the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, total active COVID-19 cases in the country have crossed 51,400. Altogether, 2,649 patients have died, while 27,919 patients have recovered so far. Maharashtra is on the top with 27,524 confirmed cases and 1,019 deaths. Globally, coronavirus has infected 45,45,167 people and 3,3849 people have succumbed to COVID-19, while 17,15,862 people have recovered so far. USA is on the top to wait 14 lakhs 57,649 confirmed cases and nearly 87,000 deaths. Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR has said that a total of 92,911 samples of coronavirus were tested in the last 24 hours. The total number of tests reached to 20,39,952 in the country. As of now, 360 government laboratories and 147 private laboratory chains have been given approval by ICMR to conduct the test for COVID-19. Meanwhile, Health and Family Welfare Ministry has said that India's COVID-19 recovery rate has reached 34.06%. India's recovery rate was at 33.63% yesterday, and until four days ago, India's recovery rate was at 31.15%. Health and Family Welfare Ministry has taken a decision to use one-time RT-PCR-based pooled sampling for surveillance purposes of migrant workers and interna international passengers who are in institutional quarantine facilities. The pooled sampling will also be conducted for surveillance purposes in Green Jones District, which have not reported any corona case in the last 21 days. Ministry has issued a guideline for RT-PCR-based pooled sampling for migrants, returnees from abroad and Green Jones.
The guidelines state that a cohort of 25 people will be identified and throat or nasal swabs will be collected as per Indian Council for Medical Research Protocol. The pool samples from 25 specimens shall be tested in the laboratory by RT-PCR method and the report will be conveyed to the quarantine facility within 24 hours. If any of the pool sample test positive, individual samples would be tested from the samples preserved in the laboratory. Central Board of Secondary Education, CBSC, has said that all the failed students of class 9th and 11th will be provided an opportunity to appear in the school base on client, offline or innovative test again. CBSC said opportunity will be extended to students irrespective of whether their examination has been completed and the examination results have been released or their exams have not been completed. The facility is to be extended irrespective of number of subjects and attempts. The CBSC has described the move as one-time measure in extraordinary situation. Delhi University has announced that examination for final year postgraduate and undergraduate students will be held from July 1. However, it said in case the situation arising out of the COVID-19 outbreak does not normalize, it will adopt open booked mode to conduct the test. Under the open book mode of examination, the student will be able to refer books, notes and other study materials to answer the questions. Students will sit in their homes and will download question papers for their respective course from the portal. They will upload the answers in a span of two hours. In the notification, the varsity said examination for final semester year students of all postgraduate and undergraduate programs, including exam for students registered with School of Open Learning and non-collegiate women education board will begin from July 1. All these examinations shall be conducted in three sessions in a day, including Sundays, with a duration of two hours and a detailed dead sheet is likely to be notified by the end of this month, it added. The DU further said, students will be allowed to attempt their examination as per dead sheet and course dates as filled in the examination form from sitting at home or any place as per instruction is suit in this regard. Around 1,000 research groups across the world are racing against time to find a cure for the novel coronavirus. These projects are in various stages of development, from research to clean, uh, clinical trials. This week has been considerable developments from firms like Moderna and Novavax in developing a COVID-19 vaccine. Moderna Therapeutics, after getting fast track approval from the US FDA for its COVID-19 vaccine, is set to conduct its phase two trial. 600 healthy volunteers will be enrolled for second phase trial of its experimented mRNA vaccine candidate, mRNA-1273. Moderna's vaccine released on the mRNA of the virus. It involves injecting fragments of the viral genetic material into the body, which then stimulates the body immune system to fight the novel coronavirus. U.S.-based company Novavax is also moving to human trials of its NVX COV-2373 vaccine, which has shown promising results in animal trials, and its next phase will see tests on 130 humans from Australia. While a closely watched coronavirus vaccine being developed by scientists at Oxford University's Generous Institute appears protective in a small study of six monkeys, promising findings that led to the start of the human trials led last month, U.S. and British researchers reported on Thursday. The preprint results showed that the CHADOX1 and COV-19 vaccine has been effective in preventing damage to the lungs of six monkeys infected with a high dose of SARS-CoV-2, the virus which causes the COVID-19 without any signs of immune-enhanced diseases. Proscribed Revolutionary People's Front in a press release urged the public to stay clean, fit and healthy to use local products in the wake of coronavirus pandemic. RPF said that the rough times of COVID-19 have strengthened existing ties between hills and valley residents. 
Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on to women groups trying to storm the NDPS court in Blumfeld, demanding not to grant bail to an accused dealer. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Evening News. Former chairman of Chandil Autonomous District Council, ADC, Lukose Joe, was produced before NDPS court, Lumfell, in connection with drug trafficking today. Women leaders of CSOs against drugs stormed the court demanding novel out for him at around 10.30 a.m. A team led by Infalt West Additional SP, LOAG, Serma and Additional SP of the Investigated Unit Crimes Against Women, Ngasik Pantratna finally managed to tame the hesitators. President of Nupi Samas Ramini warranted the pro uh, protesting women folks will hang themselves to death in front of the court if Lokose Jo is ever well out. She appealed to join hands in eradicating drug miners from the state. It may be recalled that a combined team of narcotic and a phased borders, police and infatuous district police arrested eight individuals, including the former ADC Chandel chairman, with contraband drug worth over 20 rupees 27 crore on 19 July 2018. The seized drugs included 4.595 grams of heroin worth above 13 crores and over 28 kg of the world is used amphetamine tablets worth to rupees 14 crore and rupees 57 lakhs 18,000 in cash. Irish women folks today stormed Andhra police station against the police detention of Lauren Sanjoy, who is contender for the upcoming by election of the Andhra constituency. Sources said Sanjoy is being detained at Porampat police station since yesterday. Protesters held various play cards that read, No Want Ventilars, ex MLATH Sham Kumar's resident, release El Sanjo immediately without any conditions, etc. A woman protester alleged that 43 years old, Thaunao Samdrabi from Jiari Pokyambe Makhalaikai, has filed a virus against innocent civilians El Sanjoy, son of the El Siamjai from Jiari Pokyambe Matak, M Tomba, son of the Let M Toiba, and El Sam Keshor, son of the El Tomba from Yambe Matak. Moina Madam Zadana, Hazan Gibaze, Bazamo in the Coin Maite, Nasing Azima Tadopu, Madam Zadana, Tari Bazin, Madam Karigino, or the Rebel Sam Lamigan Sakiraga, Nasing Asimok, Loremum, Hanzo Tadopu, Hadana, Bazamiam, the Gia Coin request of Jerry. Miangi Sebato Genus on Tore Bamabu Kari, Madam with the Matamabu, Hazan Bilmo, Hibaze, Sisabana Hangini, Miangi Sebato, Kurimok Samana Karig, Momotabu Pudingi. Hasan big of Lambi, a deep person in Jigmato, government, and the top of Pikapunga, the government is a good get of the police stations, the 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 on the other hand, former Andro MLA Tonazam Shankumar's brother, Tonazam Rabi, has claimed that he is being accused unnecessarily by some miscreants to gain political demilies. Rabi said that he is serving home quarantine after completion of necessary quarantine period at Unaco School from his daily return. He denied any connection whatsoever with the scuffle that occurred in Andro on May 13. Thaunazam Trabi clarified that neither his brother Thaunazam Sam Kumar nor himself is involved in the abduction of Sagom Sam Chaurin from the Andro Makalaikai, Ningthausam Opendro and Jinga Kam Sam Kiso from the Andro Awang Lekai, as claimed by some media reports. Rabi said that they are being dragged into the mess by some miscreants who want to malign their images. <laughs> Ramadisan 
mana yang kupung singgol lagi mana dengan jaga jaga cerita cerita nak dekat dekat cerita cerita nak mana kena cerita nak singgol mana izin izin nak mana memang tak ada lagi mana tu kena cerita tu mesti mana tu kau kau nak tengok apa yang saya tengok itu tu sulit ni kunci kunci so sebab tu sanjoi ni mesti nak yang kupung mana saya kalau mana tu apa yang izin dah mungkin kau pun singgol blank kan atau pun singgol lagi pun kalau pun singgol saya ambil tu tu sulit ni tu dah before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Speaker Y. Kamchan urges government to supply adequate personal protection equipment PPE for community quarantine centers. Confirmed COVID-19 cases in India crossed 81,900. That toll reaches 2,649. Global confirmed cases reached 45,45,167. And women will try to storm the NDPA's court demanding the land release of former Chandal ADC chairman Lokosai Joe, who has been jailed in connection with drug trafficking.